Hey guys, welcome to Roots and Knuckles. Okay, I am so happy that you guys are here. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. So happy to see you guys here. If you're returning, you know I love you. Thank you so much for the constant support and leaving me messages. I am very, very, very grateful. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about the five tips on a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so it's October. It's gearing towards Thanksgiving, like November, December, and everyone's kind of thinking of that goal. Like, okay, you know, 2022, we have to eat healthy. We have to work out. We have to, you know, start getting back on track. Okay, I am here to kind of get you thinking and start thinking about that. Um, I just want to share a little bit about the healthy lifestyle that I created for me and my family. I think sometimes like healthy lifestyle, a lot of people think like, oh, you have to kind of eat salads all the time and you can't enjoy food, the, you know, that kind of stuff. But I'm here to tell you, no, you don't. Healthy lifestyle is all about balance. Um, you know, of course you can eat the cookie, go to a birthday party, eat a cake and you know, that kind of stuff, but everything in moderation, everything in a, you know, with a balance. Um, you still want to live life because having a healthy lifestyle is also about happiness and like being happy and that's part of, you know, this whole like health lifestyle that we have created for ourselves. I'm absolutely so passionate about it. I am so addicted to that feeling because uh, we have all I was young once, yes, I was. I was, you know, doing the whole like stay up all night, eating junk food, drinking, partying, hanging out. And it just didn't feel good. And especially what I went through, my dad passing away at such a young age, um, I wanted to make sure that everyone around me, especially my family, that they stay very, very healthy. And not just about staying healthy, it's, I'm just so addicted to that feeling of feeling great. Like wake up feeling good and energetic. You're not tired. I am super hydrated. and Everything that I'm putting in my body is fueling my body to like do things and, and I don't feel tired. And that's the main thing that I am so addicted to. So I want to make sure that everything I put in my body um, are good. For my body but okay that doesn't mean I don't eat cookies I don't eat cake um, I don't hang out with my sisters and have slumber parties and we talk and eat junk food of course we do but everything in moderation we don't do that all the time it's once in a while you know we'll have that and and yeah and it's okay because that's life so today I'm gonna give you guys the five tips five healthy tips that what I do and what my family do um, to have this healthy lifestyle to kick off your 2022 um, and let's do this together like let's be healthy let's exercise stay active um, and eat healthy and that's what we what we do have and what we could control it's our health so I want everyone to be inspired and to get healthy together and I, I am so so excited um, to share these five tips with you guys. Number one, stress management and try to relax. That is my number one um, healthy life, lifestyle tips. I know it's easier to say than done. I understand that. I have been there, but I can't tell you how important it is to try to manage um, your stress level. Um, you know, in the world we live in today, it's so, so easy um, to get stressed out about money, uh, family, health, um, your relationship, and these kids, and, and everything is stress related. Uh, but I can tell you that you're stressing out can cause so many so many health problems and i have been there i have done it and i understand um 
stress can definitely um, it relates to hormonal balance, skin issues, your gut health, um, and just not feeling well in general. So managing your stress is so important. And one of the tips that I can give you is that I just 30 minutes a day, and this is what I do. I do something for myself. Um, I feel that when I do something like exercise or something that I love, um, when I do that in the beginning of my day, I feel like it's very, very much, um, I can manage it better throughout the day, um, especially more patient. I <laughs> Obviously, I'm talking about my kids, <laughs> but you know, even with your husband and like the way you guys are communicating, and you guys are so busy doing chores and and taking care of your kids, and you know, when you're stressed out, it just makes things so much worse. Taking a bubble bath, um, you know, going out with your girlfriends, just put things aside. Like, hey, I can do that later. I'm gonna go hang out with my sisters. I'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriends. I'm gonna go get a 30 minute massage. Um, these are all so important. It could be anything. It could be taking a walk and just going out there and getting some fresh air. And I can't tell you how much that changed my life. Um, just 30 minutes to an hour a day. And sometimes I do have that one hour end of the week where I just take like a bubble bath and I just listen to music and just, just not think about anything and just let my mind free and just and that has helped me a lot um and i feel like especially when i was trying to get pregnant uh i was very very stressed out and i think it's just something that you can't control so when it's not in your control you stress out about it so i've learned to manage that stress and voila after i kind of just relax and not think about anything, stop taking all these Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and like things that like really put that pressure um, on me. Um, I got pregnant with Sadie. So it just tells you how powerful your mind is. Number two, my second tip on having a healthy lifestyle is organization. <laughs> you might be thinking, what? What does that mean? Like, okay, so staying organized. Um, for one thing, like it keeps people sane. Like it is so important uh, to kind of have your weeks and your months kind of planned out and stay organized. Like when to clean, uh, what to make for your kids this week, so that you're not, you know, waking up in the morning and just kind of like, oh my god, I don't know what to make, I don't know what to do, and it's, that also leads to stress. So, so having like a clean and organized environment especially your home your home is where you spend the most time uh, so it is so important to have a clean and organized home and i have this thing where i do every sunday where i kind of we clean the house as a family everyone i we feel and we stock everything i get things ready for the week so that i know what i'm preparing what i'm making for the kids for lunch and breakfast um and having a clean house that just gives you this feeling of, you know, I can do it all. I can do everything. Uh, I can focus. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that when you guys have a very like, you know, when your house is not clean, it's kind of messy, it's clutter, you just, your mind is like all over the place and you can't focus on doing what you want to do. And it kind of, it's kind of like a, a like a domino effect. So when you're more focused and you're more inspired when your house is clean, you tend to want to cook more healthy food. Uh, you're gonna go grocery store and buy some healthier stuff and and then that kind of just sets the tone for the week, sets the tone for your healthy lifestyle. So make sure to clean and declutter your home and it's such a, I think it's such a perfect timing right now because it's almost at the end of the year. Um, I think that we all kind of need that to start and reset. So I think right now would be a perfect time to start decluttering. Um, when you buy a lot of stuff and you have a lot of stuff at home, that's just more things for you to clean. Um, so every Christmas, I'm always telling my family and like, don't buy any more toys for the kids because they have enough toys um, forever. So um, more toys means more toys for mommy to put away. So <laughs> number three, this is, might be an obvious one. Healthy lifestyle obviously it comes with food. Okay, food. We have a number one rule in our in our household. 
it's um, we try to eat the rainbow and I'm pretty sure you have heard this everywhere um, and for us it's very big on eating whole foods um, we love eating fruits and vegetables and uh, my kids love vegetables so we try and it's really fun you know for them to try to eat the rainbow uh, that doesn't mean we don't eat processed food. We definitely eat processed food. There's so much processed food out there. Everything is processed, but we're very, uh, you kind of have to be knowledgeable about what kind of process to eat and what not to eat, right? So um, we try to eat everything. I, I feel like I'm, I'm not gonna tell my kids not to eat carbs. I mean, that's insane. I think, I do believe in a very balanced diet. I do give my kids ice cream. I do give, um, I eat ice cream. I eat cake once in a while. Um, and it's just a balanced lifestyle. So, but majority of our time, I feel like we sh you should be eating more whole foods. Uh, so when I make my kids food or my, my family, there's a lot of protein. And I think protein, we kind of do like one fourth and then we do like two thirds of vegetables and then carbs. Um, so most of our dinner and our meals and our lunch and our breakfast, it's mostly vegetables or morning. It usually consists of like oatmeal, eggs, avocado, smoked salmon, a smoothie that has, we call it the rainbow smoothie because I put like the color of the rainbows in it. So I will share that with you guys later. I'm so excited to share all my recipes. Um, so yes, that's super important to start your day, not with cereal, not with a muffin, uh, <laughs> Those are not, it's not donut. I mean, the first thing you want to put in your body is something very, very nutritious because, you know, you, you just, you, you wake up from this, like your body is just kind of like detox and you want to put something very, very nutritious in your body because that's the first thing that you eat. So it's like, it's very absorbent. So you do not want to put anything um, that are refined sugar or any of those drinks that fruit like those fruit juice that kind of stuff you want to stay with whole foods um oatmeal eggs uh you know just everything that's whole foods like try to do that in the morning and see what happens like i think you will feel great and one of the things that i actually do is every morning i try to um i i do this uh apple cider vinegar drink like in the morning right away warm water and you can see that I'll link it below um, on one of my videos and um, and I just I have like a late breakfast where I have like quinoa and oatmeal bowl with an egg and an avocado and that's kind of my breakfast I think it's so important that especially for your kids to not stuff them with this these sugar that um, they go on this sugar high and then they and then they crash and that's when your kids start throwing tantrums and and crying and non-stop because they can't their little body cannot control all that sugar um, so there's sugar in fruits but it's natural so um, that's why I give my kids like smoothies and stuff like that and like I said I'm not saying don't feed your kids sugar because that's kind of crazy um, there's sugar everywhere and I the ki my kids eat ice cream sometimes they eat like I mean you gotta have a balanced diet right so uh, but gotta be knowledgeable what what not to eat because if you're noticing that your kids are throwing tantrums after you give them like this certain thing then maybe start cutting it back and see what happens because I did write a blog post about this um I took my kids to a park one time and I gave them these popsicles that has high fructose um, syrup and seriously it was the worst experience I have ever experienced in my life they woke up from a nap after that popsicle and they were crazy like they were crying non-stop they didn't know what they wanted they were just so angry and they're they were just throwing the worst I was I was so tra traumatized um, that that would never Ever, I will never buy that ever, ever again. Uh, Number four, it's exercise and staying active. It's one of my favorite one. Um, 
I'm not just talking about myself. Uh, it's my whole family that we try to stay active. So we have a dog. Um, his name is Gold, uh, OB. He's a golden retriever. Um, obviously, he needs a lot of exercise. So a lot of times, we'll go take him on a bike ride where I'll ride the bike and I will. he will run. So it's kind of like a family thing where we stay active and we try our best to like exercise, stay out, stay outdoors, play. Um, and just ride their scooters, run around, we play soccer and um, you know sometimes I think as moms it's really hard uh, I know how I know I know how you guys are going through it's like it's hard it's hard to just carve out 30 minutes of your day um, because you're not even sleeping you're so freaking tired like how do you just carve out time to work out you know so sometimes like anything is good I can just be in the kitchen sometimes making breakfast and I can just be doing like squats or doing burpees. I'll do like 50 burpees and sometimes if I don't have I don't have time to work out, that's what I have and that's fine. At least I got 50 burpees in and that's something. Um, but I think exercising, staying active is super important. You don't have to do it every day but I think every other day, maybe three times a week will be ideal to get your body moving. You're not sitting, you know, especially people that are back at work and they're always sitting. Um, definitely need to like get up and walk around, go on a little run if you have time and I think in general that's just, you will feel so much better. I always see the difference when I don't work out in the morning and when I do and wow, like <laughs> big, big difference. When you work out, it kind of goes into you stressing, you're not, you're not stressing as, you're not stressed out and then eating healthy, it kind of all like fall into this, like, you know, it falls into place. So um, when I do exercise, everything, it just, everything feels great and it flows, you eat healthy, you stress less. So that's number, number four tips. I think that one is super important. Um, and I can't tell you how good that makes me feel in the morning after a nice little workout. It could be 20 minutes. If you have 20 minutes, do 20 minutes. If you have 10 minutes, do 10 minutes. And then I just take this nice shower and get ready for the day. So, can't get better than that. All right, last one, last tip. And um, this might not be an obvious tip, but number five is sleep. Sleep is so, so important. Um, Getting a good amount and knowing how many hours works for you is so important. So for me, um, I'm very lucky. I sleep very, very well. Um, I have a time where I just I go to sleep every night and I always do yoga. Not that long, maybe 10 minutes. Kind of like I just stretch, I breathe, um, and I put on this little meditation app, Calm, uh, where I just turn this on, have this music, and I just stretch, downward dog, and then and then I go to sleep at night. And I sleep around seven hours. Um, I, I do, don't do any screen time an hour before I go to sleep. Uh, my curtains are closed. Um, and the temperature of uh, your room is also very important. So, I leave my phone away from, it's not on the, my bedside table, I leave it away and I don't check my phone an hour or two actually before I go to bed because I don't want to think. I don't want to start thinking about what I need to do tomorrow and kind of get your mind going. So um, I'm pretty good at that. I, I, when I sleep, I'm like, okay, I'm down. And usually um, if I read a book, <laughs> it'll put me to bed right away. So I would usually do yoga and then I will go to my bed and then I will try to read a little bit and then I'll just fall asleep. So for me, sleeping seven hours, eight hours, eight hours would be great if you can. And having that good sleep um, and waking up early in the morning and feeling great and feeling rest, well rested is so important. So that was my five tips of a healthy lifestyle. And I think that those are kind of like the foundation. You can just, don't, if you don't know where to start, like just start little just take little steps um if you have never exercised try just doing 10 minutes a day and just start it um just start it a little bit this week i'll do 10 minutes a day uh it can be anything anything you love to do don't do something that you don't love and just oh I, oh this person is doing that or this influencer yeah 
Just do what you love. You love kickboxing, do kickboxing. You like more of a yoga, slow, you like dancing, do dancing. Just do 10 minutes a day and then start increasing it week by week. Like next week will be 15 minutes, and the week after that will be 20. And then just get in the habit of exercising and good sleep, eating good food, stress less, and you know, this lifestyle um, that we, we have created for ourselves, um, it didn't happen just one night, one day, you know, it, ha it happened like slowly and we kind of created this. So don't rush, take it day by day and everything that you're doing um, will just make you happier because you're eating healthier, you're feeling great. And when you're feeling happier, you're stressed less. So, oh my God, I'm so happy and excited. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. This is one of my longer videos and um, I am just so, so passionate about um, inspiring others to live a healthy lifestyle because of how good I feel and how good my family feels, you know. So I, I am so happy. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys like my video today or you guys like my whatever videos that I, you know, that you have watched. So thank you and I am so grateful and I'm so so appreciative for you guys. Um, I will see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe and leave me a comment. Leave me a lovely comment. I love, I love replying to your comments. So thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye everybody.